Weeks ago, he was hailed a hero. Now Catalonia's police chief is the villain, appearing in court in Madrid. Major Josep Trapero, commander of the regional Mossos de Squadra force, was lauded for his swift response to the attacks in Barcelona in August. In Madrid, prosecutors accused him of sedition or for inciting a rebellion by failing to quash support for Catalan secession. The pro-secession leaders of two of Catalonia's civic and grassroots organizations face the same charge. Prosecutors say the leaders revved up crowds around Catalan government offices on September the 20th. And the human blockade hampered raids by National and Civil Guard police under orders from government leaders in Madrid. I invoked the right not to make a statement because I don't recognize this court's competence in relation to the crime we are accused of, sedition, because we are convinced we have not committed any kind of crime. I believe that on the 20th of September there was a peaceful civic mobilization and there was never at any point any intention by the demonstrators to do what the prosecution claims. The political crisis is damaging the economy in Catalonia. Banks, biotech companies, utilities and even Spain's largest sparkling winemaker are considering moving their corporate headquarters from Catalonia to other parts of Spain. Government ministers in Madrid announced on Friday they passed a decree, making it easier for corporations to relocate. If Catalonia breaks away, it risks taking 20 per cent of Spain's economy with it. As the crisis lurches on, the Catalan parliament may reschedule a potentially historic meeting. Tuesday's debate could lead to a full-blown declaration of independence. And media reports suggest Catholic church leaders, or perhaps diplomats from Switzerland, could step in to mediate. Carl Penhall, Al Jazeera, Barcelona.